went. Uh, I, where did I go? I went with my in-laws, and we went to yes. uh, we went to Egypt, which was uh, wow. Yeah, I know you're excited. I, <laughs> I am. You know, wow backwards is wow. Did you know that? And wow. wow, wow upside down is mom, and mom upside down is dad's favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My parents are in the audience. Um, we went to Egypt with my in-laws, who were a lot of fun, if you like being in a vault with them. And um, I don't know what that means, but thank you for laughing. And uh, we went there, and it was a, a beautiful uh, country. I learned quite a bit. We went during Christmas, so there yeah. were like uh, Christmas lights on the pyramids and everything, right. which is kind of a joke, but not quite. And then we went to the, <laughs> we went to the uh, Sphinx, and we went to the back of the Sphinx, but nobody goes back there. You know why? Because it's Sphinx back there. <laughs> That's why. And then, it's interesting, all the women look like Jamie Farr, all of them. And really? I love, I'm a big Jamie Farr fan, and I love women, so the combination just turned me on Major. Right. And, uh, see, Major, that's right from MASH, too. Then it was interesting because uh, you have to tip, uh, like in the bathroom at the airport, you have right. to tip for toilet paper. And right. then, basically, you're negotiating. There's a guy under your stall, reaching, and you kind of are exchanging the money at the wrong moment, and sure. hoping you can just give me the money, give me the paper. And uh, I made a mistake. I didn't, I didn't understand the currency, and I gave him $17 for three sheets of toilet paper. And I realized you're just better off just using the currency. Sure, just sure. Getting a lot of bills Certainly and hoping you don't get chafed. You staying know what I'm aware of the exchange right there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hank, have you ever been in the uh, Middle East? Indeed I am. I believe Hank was uh, just then in the Middle East. <laughs> but then... Um, it was interesting, we were with a guy named Dr. Marvin, who came out of the restroom yeah. at, the, uh, at the airport in Egypt, and he had eaten a lot of food, and it didn't agree with him, and he just said, wow, I have a problem, the earth just came out of me. <laughs> <laughs> His line, That's and it was, Dr. Marvin. It was Dr. Marvin, he was covered in water, it was disgusting and horrible, and we're very close, and he looks like Jamie Farr. And then we went, um, <laughs> when you're close to him, but then when he's far, forget it, there's a pun there, and I'm not that So then we... Um, I'll tell you the truth, I didn't even need to be there for the fucking Saget interview. Good show. All I said was, hi, Bob, bye, Bob. I could have been working at a jack-in-the-box. Oh, don't diminish yourself. Anyone with less talent would have tried to interrupt you. I don't know that that's necessarily uh, true. It just seems to me... Uh, oh, Bob. Did I, did I uh, go on too long? Uh, I mean, was I rambling or anything? Absolutely not. Uh, you were great. Love your work, Bob. Yeah, I love the one where the man gets hit in the nuts with a wiffle ball. <laughs> anytime. Come back anytime, Bob. Thanks. <laughs> sure. What do we have on tomorrow? Uh, Earl Holloman. He's got another new TV yeah. show and uh, an author. And don't panic. And Macaulay Culkin dropped out. Oh, Geography God quiz. Sakes. But I'm working on a new guest now. Who's Leno got? Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not just kidding you. Oh. He's always got his Dudley Moore. And the network is pushing Donna Mills. Donna Mills. Even Kiss is working without makeup, uh, Artie. Excuse me, uh, Arthur, you know Ray. Ray! How you doing, Arthur? How are you, my lad? And, uh, Larry. Larry. You know my friend Ray. Sure. Hi, Ray. Host of Family you? Feud. Yeah, yeah Larry. Hey, we're on our way to the smokehouse. You, you want to go? Uh, yeah, gee, come on. We're having uh, a couple of beer skis. Oh, yeah. beer skis. As much as that... Uh, uh, no, survey says no. Oh. Really. Uh, we'll see. see you, Ray. Hey, so long, hey now. You like Terry Gar? You want to bring her back? I like Terry Gar too. Yeah, absolutely. I like when she hiked her dress up. <laughs> that was funny. Well, you got a little too inside on this section. I Hank know. jumped in with a good bit. That was a fluke, Artie. I'm telling you, the guy cares less and less about the show. Hank doesn't know a thing about the show until he's on the air. He feels it keeps him spontaneous. It serves him well. Did you see him tonight practically asleep on the couch at one point? I looked. Well, who am I protecting? He was asleep on the couch. Of course he was asleep. He's a fucking moron. What do you expect? The important thing, you're on and you're doing a great job. All right, you guys. Thank me later. Emo Phillips. Mm, what, Gallagher out of fruit? No emo. Thank you. You know... Hey, honey. Oh, Jeannie! Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? Hi, Hi, Arthur. Will you talk to him, please, Artie? Why don't you talk to him? He's your friend. Uh, because... You want me to talk to him? Sure, I'll talk to him. Thank you. I would... He was asleep on the couch, Artie. I would have talked him in, but there's a, a... What do you call it? Network television show going on. Diane, please. Not this morning. Trust me, we love Emo here. I think he's a riot. Thank you, Fine, I'll check the board again. Oh, Jesus. The 16th looked up, too. Perhaps we can have him on with a guest host or something. Didn't we sleep badly? This is funny. This one is funny. The thing about Dahmer? You can't say gay. <laughs> Sorry. And it's offensive to serial killers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is half our audience. Yeah, and the other half are uh, victims. So we would have, uh, we'd offend everybody with that. Yeah. Yeah. What were you thinking? Mm. Oh, did we get Janet Jackson for tonight? Can you have Janet Jackson? Yeah, yeah that's what I'd be great. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially if she talked about the beating she did for her father. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or if uh, she does the... Um, oh, I know right. where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know where you're going. Okay, got it. Uh-huh. Sure. Look at that. Thanks. See you there. All right, bye-bye. Hey, as much as I respect you, my friend, and Paula says thanks. Do we have Janet Jackson? Yeah. yeah. I just confirmed. Oh, great. Right. Excuse me, Larry. Here's something from the fan in Florida. Uh, oh, Beverly, please. Oh, no, I don't no, want no. to something see Something too good to miss. It's a candle in the shape of your head. It is. It's good likeness. It's frightening. <laughs> Maybe it looks better once it's lit. That would be my guess. <laughs> so what did Hank say? What did Hank say about what? What did Hank say about sleeping on the couch? He isn't in here. What's he doing? Another one of those commercials for safety shutters? Yes, as a matter of fact, he is. It's some similar piece of shit. I don't know what. The important thing is, this is your first guest here. Uh, he's a man. He wrote a book about how to train your dog. Artie, is this, the, is this the author you were talking about? What do you mean, author? He took two years it's off to write dogs, this book. Though. Of course it is. It's very, very funny. To people or to dogs, Artie? Hopefully to both. Paula says his animals are like children to it, which I find very sad. Artie, do you think we need to replace Hank? No. Hey, Hank? Hey, now. What do you think of this joke? <laughs> Which one? Because there's a, there's a lot of jokes on this page. The uh, one that is circled, actually. Hey. Hey, Here's your itinerary. The only one I'm concerned about is tonight, because there's a helicopter picking you up on the roof exactly five minutes after the show to get you to San Bernardino for the shopping mall opening on time. All right. Thanks, Darlene. Uh, Darlene, uh, make sure they have a pillow and a uh, drambuie on the helicopter. I'd like to fuck her. You don't play for the Kings, Hank. Do you ever turn down anything? Oh, sure. Uh, 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 the, the RV show at the uh, the Rose Bowl. No, you are doing that uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon, 102 p.m. Oh, that's right. That's right. Well, that's the uh, that's the biggest one in the country. Uh -huh. No, that's the uh, that's the national one. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, they got all the RV dealers from all over the I Western region. They got a ton of money. Those people. Ton of money. Hey now. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Great. You know, Hank, I was just uh, wondering why you say that hey now thing. What do you mean? Well, it's just something that you used on the show, and now you're starting to use it in your personal life, and, and, and it's an affectation of some sort, isn't it? Did you ever say hey now as a, as a kid? No, I don't. I probably didn't. Uh huh. Um, but uh, I, uh, I said, uh, "Hey." Yeah. And I said, uh, "Now." I right, mean, right, at, right, at sure, different sure. times. I but, see. Uh, I, no, I never put them together till later in life. Uh huh. So, in that sense, it's it's uh, it's part of my personality. You know, Hank, this isn't easy for me, but uh, would you mind not doing it on the show anymore? Because. Uh, Frankly, I'll wait, tell you the wait truth. A minute. Are you telling me that when you yeah. do your, uh, you do you do this? That yeah. isn't the, the same affectation. That isn't the same as my. Hey now. There, you just said it again, and you know I asked you not to say it. <laughs> I can't say it off stage. Either. It doesn't even exist. Use hey now in a sentence, Hank. Uh, hey now, that was real funny. You know what, Hank? It's not even in the dictionary, hey now. Okay, okay, this is, this is how I use hey now in, in a sentence, okay? You say, and of course, my sidekick Hank. And of course, my sidekick Hank. Hey now! Hank. That's a sentence. No. Hank, listen. I just prefer you not do it on the show anymore, okay? I just, uh, it gets on my nerves, it gets on the audience's nerves as no, well. Sir. No, yes, sir. No, sir. it does. No. Hank. Look, you're not out there. And believe me, it is, it's very big with the audience. No. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something else. I think it helps make the show work. It's part of our whole interplay on camera. By interplay, you mean the times we're both awake? Hey, now. Just cut down on it. Could you do that, please? Miss Janet Jackson is landing as we speak. Little Al Unser is waiting for the car in the white zone to whisper to the studio. She's not coming, Gonna is she? Going to be Artie? here any minute. She's not coming. Yes. You said she's landing. For all we know, she could be circling, Artie. She's not going to circle, she's going to land. Now, Toya, she could circle. Now, there's a gal that could be circling for years. Feel free to put that in your monologue. 
I know, already. Hey, I wish I could pop in and out of work whenever I wanted. Did he hear me? You should talk to him. I don't like seeing you two like this. Yeah, neither do I. You know, he's taken advantage of our friendship, Artie. When I met him, he was just a cruise director. And you made him everything he is. You're not implying that. Hank's his own man, Larry. He's a man. Let's leave it at that. This is just a gig he squeezes in between all his other jobs. After the show, talk to him. It's not as if you have a million friends. I'm your friend. And now, fresh from a Rhythm Nation tour, please welcome, dear God, if there's any justice in this world, Janet Jackson. Don't write that part. So I hear we're doing a full hour on the dog expert. Gee, I hope we don't run long and preempt regularly scheduled programming. I'd like to see more of that humorous thinking on the show. Mm, Artie? Artie. I would settle for Tito at this point. I just want you to know that. Listen, she's going to be here, OK, Larry? All right. It's just a question of which part of the show she's going to be on. Well, just make sure she's, uh, it's when we're on the air, Artie. That's all I ask. And don't do that. I know you think it calms me. I've seen terrorists do it, Artie. He's not listening to me, Sid. How are you, by the way? All right? Uh, take this joke out. And uh, you know what? Golf, cl uh, golf club instead of golf team. And underline, underline looting. Hank, have you got a second? Sure. Bruno, give us a minute here, will you? Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Do so you think Janet Jackson's going to show, Hank? Oh, is it, you got a book for tonight? <laughs> Listen, Hank, I want you to know it's not even the Haynes thing that I'm mad about. And and I and it's not that you fall asleep on the couch. I, I don't fall I, asleep. Well, nodding off. I pay attention. I, I am I I am there. You happen to have, you know, a lot of other things on your plate, which Well don't worry way, about my plate. You worry about your half of the show. <laughs> I thought I just heard you say my half. Is that what you just said? My half of the show, Hank? What What the hell is that? This is a corset. Why are you wearing it? Because I, I believe it makes me look thinner. And it does. You look a little like Kitty in Gunsmoke. Why don't you shove it up your ass? Or do you already do that commercial? No, I don't. But that's a good idea. Thanks. I'll call my agent. I'd like some of the commission, by the way. I'll see you out there. See you out there. If that's what you want, if if you want your face and hands to clash, all right, all, done. all right, no, sorry, little. Seriously, we uh, we really we couldn't do the show without you, gang. So thank you for coming on down here tonight. And uh, let me ask you to uh, let me ask you a favor. Can you all give me when I say three? Can you give me a hey now. Ready? One, two, three. Hey now. Janet Jackson is out. T-Bone Burnett is in. Mm. You were right. She was circling. She got diverted to Reno. Fucking fog. Live on tape from Hollywood. The Larry Sanders Show. Tonight, join Larry and his guests, Earl Holliman, T-Bone Burnett, dog expert Carl Henkel, and me, hey now, Hank Kingsley. So talk to me about Golden Retrievers being uh, seeing eye dogs. I did not know that they uh, use uh, mostly retrievers now. Yes, they go through a rigorous training um, program uh, up to about three, four years before a guide dog is um, graduated. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, 
And yet their natural instinct to retrieve does not get in the way, I assume, of uh, being a guide dog, because there you would have... Uh, Once in Florida, you said he'd be here 10 minutes ago. What if we copter him in? <laughs> what do you mean there's no helicopter? For God's sakes, tell him he's a burn victim. If he were a kidney, he'd been here an hour ago. Right back. Absolutely delightful. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Very good. funny. Good, good, good. And when we come back from the commercial, you'll do another segment with the dog man. What are you talking about? Where's T Bone? T Bone is coptering in. He'll oh, be here. God, so. Mr. Holloman sings, by the way. Oh, there's good news. Artie, if I had a gun, I'd put it in my mouth, turn and take us both out. I can't wait to read that book. Arthur, Arthur, listen. You think the Angie Dickinson story played okay? Oh, yeah. It went yeah. terrifically as always, Earl. Oh, you got a new series, huh? You and Delta Burke. Got him. We're back with uh, dog expert uh, Carl Henkel. He's written a wonderful book called My Dog, Myself teaching us how to train a dog uh, in five days, five days, and we are up to approximately day four. <laughs> I found your book, if I may say, fascinating and have enjoyed thoroughly talking to you about dogs and uh, myself. <laughs> Hank, have you ever had a dog? <laughs> Hank has had a dog. <clears throat> okay. Well, I thought you might have... Uh, in fact, had a dog. I thought you... Actually, dog. Um, Doctor, maybe you, maybe you could help me out. Uh, my dog, um, Felipe... Felipe? Yes. I did not recall that. Oh, yes, Felipe Xavier Kingsley. I see. Yes, well, uh, anyway, uh, Doctor, my dog, Felipe, has a particular problem. He uh, can never stop mm, uh, licking himself. <laughs> I believe that's uh, learned behavior, uh, Hank. When you stop, the dog will stop. <laughs> it's that old uh, monkey see, monkey do. Well, I got it. I, something has to give because uh, he used to uh, lick himself and then uh, kiss, kiss me on the face. Oh, boy. I couldn't. Uh, I would just cut out the middleman there and uh, lick him. By the way, none of this is covered in my book. <laughs> well, I think it sounds like a good chapter. It might improve the sales. <laughs> but if the, uh, uh, sometimes I would have a lady come back uh, to the house. Sometimes is the key phrase on the lady. <laughs> and uh, Felipe would put his nose in a, how do you say this on television, an, an awkward place. And, do you understand what I'm saying? With uh, her, and he hadn't even met her. Yeah, cutting into Hank's action. In effect. In, indeed. In, indeed he is. But the, uh, the woman always says, oh, that's okay. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm thinking, uh, maybe I ought to get a dog costume. Listen, Hank, if you call our office at Actors Nervous for Animals, we can get you neutered for a very low cost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his uh, T-bone here... <laughs> I'm chasing Paula. My next guest is a uh, gifted musician and a talented producer. His uh, new album is uh, uh, the. We do not have the uh, cover, but this is what it looks like once you open it. This is what you play. Really, what really good does the cover do you? Uh, his new album is called "The Criminal Under My Own Hat." I'm a big fan. Please welcome T Bone Burnett. Come from a blue planet light years away Where everything multiplies at an amazing rate We're out here in the universe buying real estate Hope we haven't gotten here too late We're humans from Earth We're humans from Earth You 
have nothing at all to fear And I think we're gonna like it here You saved my ass It's my job Yeah I, I did it without saying, hey now I'm sorry about that Hey now thing I just was a little upset that you do all those other jobs Let's just oh, come on You could go with me on those other jobs I mean, they would love to have you there You could do those I don't other... want to go on those other jobs with you I I wish we could be friends the way we used to be. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah, I miss you too. Look, I fell asleep on the couch. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't lecture me anymore. I can't help it. I just get, I just, I turned into an asshole the last couple of years. Well, that's okay. I've turned into a moron. <laughs> I mean, just have a good time with it. Electricity with humans from Earth. Humans from Earth. You have nothing at all to fear, and I think we're gonna like it here. Yeah.